We do not have different rules for Democrats or Republicans, different rules for the powerful or the powerless, different rules for the rich or for the poor. We apply uh, the facts and the law in each case in a neutral, nonpartisan manner. Oh, okay, really? And that's that. That was Attorney General Merrick Garland claiming that the Justice Department's investigation into both President Biden and President Trump have uh, been the same, nonpartisan. Joining me right now is Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson. Senator, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Your reaction to what you're hearing? Good morning, Maria. Well, you know, Attorney General Merrick Garland is saying what the way our justice system should work. But I think as you were intimating there, that's not the way our system of justice does work. We have a multi-tier multi system of justice. Uh, the law is being applied differently to different people, particularly the Bidens. I think it's very interesting, uh, the, the whole document uh, scandal, and it, and it is a scandal. It just shows that uh, Senator Biden, uh, Vice President Biden, and now President Biden doesn't believe the rules or laws apply to him. Uh, what's very interesting is uh, the news reports now are, are highlighting an email that Hunter wrote to Devin Archer on April 13th, 2014. Uh, it reads, from my standpoint, uh, I mean, I've traveled overseas, and you get uh, what they call scene setters from the State Department. It reads like one of those scene setters. Uh, highly detailed information in terms of Ukraine. This is when uh, Devin Archer and, and uh, Hunter Biden were trying to get on the board of Burisma and, you know, get their, two, you know, three, four million dollars worth of payday, uh, trying to show, prove their worth. But April 13th, three days later, Vice President Biden meets with Devin Archer in the White House. Then President Biden goes to Ukraine and he's listed as the, you know, the face of the Biden administration to Ukraine. April 22nd, uh, Devin Archer joins the board of Burisma. Sometime soon after that, uh, Hunter Biden joins the board. So this is all happening in April. It's obvious that Hunter Biden is selling access to information. And it, does that have anything to do with some of the classified documents that uh, Vice President Biden was squirreling away in his residence? I don't know, but it looks incredibly suspicious. But we're starting to stitch together this uh, sordid story of sleaze and corruption. Yeah, and thank you for staying on this and doing the investigations that you have. This is just extraordinary, Senator. How long has this been going on? The fact that the Biden family has been accepting millions and millions of dollars, in some cases from America's adversaries, just putting this money in their own pocket so that they could give time and, and resources to these adversaries and, and, and get Joe Biden in meetings. I think as long as Joe Biden's been in office, just about. Wow. Uh, or he's had a, you know, a brothers that uh, want to trade off his name and then a son that wanted to trade off his name. You know, the news media knew about this. There, there was a report, uh, I think the thing was titled Biden Inc. And, That's you know, right. so the news media fully understood what Joe Biden was all about and how he was basically, or members of his family were selling access, selling, you know, influence, ped peddling his family name. He's been doing this for years, but the press just looked the other way. And, of course, then the press went into overtime uh, cover-up mode prior to the 20, uh, 20 election to make sure that... Uh, Vice President Biden became President Biden, and now we see the list of horribles as your last panel was discussing the inflation, the open borders, uh, record high gasoline prices. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really remarkable, uh, the complicity and corruption of the media in this so sordid tale as well. Yeah, the scandal definitely uh, continues into the media as well. But look, the White House doesn't care. Their White House counsel responded to House investigators looking to probe Biden's handling of the documents, and they say that they will cooperate with only legitimate oversight. So I want to get your take on what they should do, what the, the GOP should do now, because obviously the White House is stonewalling just the way they stonewalled you when you were investigating COVID, when you were investigating the Russia collusion lie, and when you were investigating the Biden laptop. I spoke with former House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes on Sunday, and he said this about how to respond to the White House stonewalling. Watch. The DOJ sent Jim Jordan, the chairman of the, of the Judiciary Committee, a letter that basically said, kiss off, we're not going to give you any information. So what they have to do, what the Republicans are going to need to do, is immediately subpoena, hold in contempt. And then hopefully recommend to DOJ to prosecute, and DOJ would, would, should prosecute. Uh, I don't know, Senator. What do you think? Is that going to happen? Will the Republicans do it? 
Do you think DOG will prosecute its own administration? No. Uh, again, no. That, 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 just reve that just reveals, you know, unfortunately, the weakness of congressional subpoenas when you have the White House in the hands of the other party. Uh, so we, we don't have the, the type of enforcement powers. Let's face it, I subpoenaed Christopher Wray when President Trump was in office. When President Trump wanted those documents released, we didn't get them. So the only thing we can really do is create the public pressure. Uh, but as, as you saw when I appeared on Chuck Todd uh, a couple Sundays ago, uh, the mainstream media does not want to hear about the corruption. They don't want to highlight it. They won't highlight it. So it's very difficult to create the public pressure you need to put pressure on these agencies to cough up the information that the public deserves to know. Yeah. Well, look, we're going to keep a spotlight on it. And I'm going to keep highlighting it. But I want to get your take on the potential connection to the classified documents and the Biden laptop and the Biden family taking in all this money. Because the New York Post is reporting that messages found on that Biden lap laptop show a University of Pro uh, Pennsylvania professor urging Naomi Biden, Hunter's daughter, to attend an all-expenses-paid conference in China. He says he advises her family name would open doors for her, Senator. Obviously, they're going to open doors. They wanted everything they could get from the Biden family. That's why they were paying up for it. What do you know about this? Well, remember, the University of Pennsylvania received more than $50 million in donations from people in China interest in China. 30 million came in after they established the, the Penn Biden Center. Uh, then shortly after that, uh, you had about 160 members of the faculty of the University of Pennsylvania write Merrick Garland to cancel the China Initiative, which right. was the Department of Justice program to investigate and uncover Chinese theft of intellectual property. It's corrupt. It's, it's obvious corrupt. It's been hiding in plain sight. But again, except for investigative journalists like you, and you do a great job, and I appreciate your tenacity here, the mainstream media just, you know, they not only just ignore it, they cover up for the Biden family. What a joke. It's unbelievable. This is really a sad turn of events for the media. Senator, it's good to see you. We will continue to cover it, and we will talk soon. Thank you, sir.